Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sid, and I'm here with Koda, or whichever way it's in. And right now, he grew a beard and mustache in like two seconds. So, uh, we're gonna be talking about, uh, what's called Pokemon X and Y. <laughs> also, it apparently grew an afro in like two seconds. Alright, so, uh, I guess we'll start off talking about, like, our, uh, history with Pokemon, I guess, so, you want to go first, or you want me to? Oh, well, you can go first. Alright, uh, I remember when I was, like, uh, I think I was, like, three, four, or five, something around there. Uh, well, actually, I started watching Pokemon, like, the TV show when I was younger. The Japanese version. Like when I was two or one or something like that, right? And then when I was three, four, or five, I actually got crystal version for the Game Boy Color. It was my first game ever. And yeah, I enjoyed it. And Although I really didn't get to play it, it was mostly my mom just played it. But, uh, you know, as time went on, I started to play it more and started to enjoy it more. And that's pretty much how I got to where I'm at. Alright, go to Europe. Um, well, the really first, actually one of the first of my Game Boy games that I got, it was, it was, uh, gold, gold and silver version. And then, I grew up with the show, I grew up with first generation Pokemon. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and until they got to this one, I mean, I like the game, but the series was just kind of ridiculous. Wait, like, because which one? TV series or the game? TV series. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought the game was, I thought the game was decent. Alright, well, But, like, uh, I, uh, the show, I'd have to say if I had a favorite generation, it'd be first gen with, uh, Siku and Lugia and all of them are in first gen, right? Nah, they're in second gen. They were gold, crystal, and uh, yes. silver. Yeah, second gen is my favorite out of all of them. I I like how it started out uh, with the with the three colors. Oh, oh actually yeah. Four. All right, sorry, Dusty's coming in, so I'm gonna pause the video real quick. Sorry, guys. All right, we're back. Alright, uh, Kodak, go ahead and, like, finish off what you were talking about. Uh, second gen was probably by far the best. You can say what you will, but I stand by what I say. And second gen is, in my opinion, by far the best. Alright, yeah. Dusty. Oh, yeah, we also got Dusty here with us. Um, it says video cannot be viewed on practice, though. Uh, I can see. It. I don't. I don't really have a history. I don't really have much of a big history with Pokemon. My biggest history was watching my dad play, and welcome to the club, man. He played on my Game Boy Color. What? I said, welcome to the club. My mom did the same thing with me when I was a kid. Um. As far as just looking at everything, I don't really like Pokemon now because of the fact that it's just redundant. Uh, not to say I don't like, like, the old stuff, like, like Code I said, second generation was pretty good. I, I just, because I haven't played any but the second generation, but, you know. Yeah. Uh... Well, since everyone else said their favorite, I might as well say my favorite. I have to say my favorite gen is probably three. Just, like, for me, se first does, you know, I started everything off, so you have to give it props. Second, you know, I started uh, making it better and actually surprised me that it had a sequel. And then all of a sudden, third generation, for, at least for me, it more or less kind of perfected it. But, like, four and five, like... For, for me, the Pokemon are everything. Like, if the Pokemon design suck, then, you know, I don't want to play it. It's like, why, why would I want to capture a freaking ugly Pokemon? Yeah, call me Shell. 
uh, what I find funny what? is the fact it's the fact that we haven't done a video like this since the first episode. What? Wait, uh, wait, no, take, what, what do you count the, uh, what's it called? The conversation between us two and Eero? Or Nathan? No, no, no. All three of us. Oh, like, the three main the... founders. Oh, okay. Yeah, crap. It's always either been me and you or me and Koda. Wait. I know, Koda, you watched the video, but. This is more like the reunion video. Yeah. <laughs> The reunion of the big three, or the original three. But, uh. Yep. Ice Climbers is a secret, though. <laughs> Alright. You'll probably eventually see what he means if we ever get into a giant Super Smash Brothers Brawl fight with him. If we actually are planning, we just have it. That's a reference to the first video. Oh, yeah! Okay, yeah. Anyways. Alright. Uh, okay. I know, Koda, you watched the uh, new Pokemon X and Y video, but, uh, Dusty, have you watched it? Or did you look at no. pictures? No. Okay, alright. I um, just looked at stuff. Well, uh, let's just say this, it's gonna be interesting, to say the least. Uh, go ahead, but I, I think you're raising your hand or something for a little bit, so, you like, you wanna say something? No, seriously, you're like this for some reason. Oh, uh, I was looking at my ring. Oh, okay. But well, since you're talking anyways... But uh, since you insisted. Yeah, good. But since you insisted... Uh... The new one... In my opinion, it, it really is going to be an interesting experience because... As... All the previous, all, as the past five generations have been, it was 3D, like like top like top view. This one, it literally is a third person view type game, and whenever I saw that, I I I lost hope in a way. The Legendary looks pretty cool, but I lost hope in Pokemon itself, because whenever you make it in a 3D aspect, and you see the whole body and not the head, it takes away the experience that all children remember as a child, and to prove that I prefer older games, I have a Mario iPhone thing. I know it used to be Ava but, stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure none of us in the Dusty controls have ever actually completed the first Mario. Uh, like, completed I the haven't. whole... I got close. Oh. I couldn't get the last... I couldn't get rule of 8-4 down. Okay. I'm just like, what do I do? It's looping! But, but uh, that, that's just my opinion. On uh, the new Pokemon games, it it's not. It I'm afraid that later on Pokemon is literally going to be on console systems. It is. Even though they've already made some. Oh, like, okay. I know, like, but like, you know how po like they'll make, they remake all of them on a different Nintendo system, maybe. Uh, like maybe. maybe. I'm not sure. Like, uh, you know how they did the uh, whole remake of uh, Soul Silver and uh, Heart Gold? Ah, yeah. I'm afraid that they're going to create that series all over again, either on a 3DS or uh, maybe another Nintendo system that may be coming out. After the Wii U, but that's just my view on it. Uh, uh, I guess I'll put in my two cents on it. Uh, oh, what the heck? Well, Dusty left again. Anyways, oh, god dang. Alright, give me a second, guys. Well, Dusty's back. Anyways, 
uh, my two cents on this is, uh, like, for me, what made the console games suck, like, you know, Coliseum, Stadium, blah, 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 it's because they couldn't, they wouldn't let you catch your own Pokemon. It's like, oh, we give you this 3D world, but with uh, Stadium, they, they either give you some Pokemon, like, six at the most, if I remember correctly, or you have to plug in your, uh, Game Boy cartridge in that, or in uh, Coliseum's case, you had to. They're only like they'll let you catch Pokemon, but like only a set number of them. It's not like you get to what? The? <laughs> oh, that happened. Oh yeah. Completely unrelated. This is Ray. Oh, she's, that is. She's cool. And uh, I don't know where my Mari is, but uh. Oh yeah. Well, Ray. Oh yeah, well screw you. Yeah, what well, the heck? Yui! With like, antlers for some reason. Anyways. Who, who's on the side of the screen? You. Who's on... You. Me? Yeah. No, on this side. On the left side? Yeah, it's only you. So what about this Alright, uh, right now you're pointing at Kodai. Wait, was that what you were trying to do the entire time? Anyways, uh, but like, I'm kind of interested to see what it is, however, I kind of wish they'd give you more customization options with their character stuff. Here's their name, sex, the end. And they're not even, they're not even paying attention right now. But, uh, I was looking for my party. Oh, okay. Why don't you bring the one from, uh, Buckle the Pistol? You know I which one I'm talking away. about. All right, I'll tell I you the story. Away. I'll tell you the story real quick. All right. What's so what's up? Okay. You gonna go or am I gonna? Oh, sorry. I don't know because sorry. you went and then. I'll I'll tell you guys the story later then. But we gotta we gotta finish this. All right. Uh, it looks. The graphics itself look impressive, and I kind of like how it's like, oh, you look through the grass, and all of a sudden, boom, Pokemon pops up out of nowhere. And, uh, but, like, the Pokemon designed to me, except for the last guy, I don't know his name. The most, uh, giant bird thing called again, Dakota? Hello? Oh, what? No, not Hello, oh, the, on the new one. The one, oh, the one that started with the oh, Y, I'll just, I'll call it Y. Uh, why looked, uh... Your vet kiss or whatever? Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, the one with the the why, the giant bird thing. Uh, in my opinion, he looked pretty impressive, though. Alright, Dusty, your turn. Just after looking at one picture of the game, um, and seeing what it looks like and hearing from you guys, it's a new console. It's, it's something new, but... I don't know how much I can expect out of the new Pokemon. I mean, it's 3D, sure, it's fine. It's something like the new, the console games and stuff. But, um, I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm not expecting much out of it. Because I've never been really a big fan of Pokemon as other games. <clears throat> in Smash Brothers and, <clears throat> and it's Pikmin. But, yeah. Right. So, we're pretty much getting both sides of the spectrum somewhat. You got me and Kodai, you know, like, oh, we po love Pokemon. And then we got one guy that's like, yeah, it's fine. But, yeah, I'm like, nothing to be hype about. But, you know what? What in the crap is... Oh, that's the puzzle. Stop showing raid posters. Oh, yeah, fine. That's, uh, a, puzzle. that's a puzzle. I'll show a freaking okay. figure. Oh, boom! I don't even know who this guy is. Some guy on One Piece that was my dad gave to me. Okay. Anyways. So. Alright, two things. The name of the game. I'm betting. Well, me and Kona talked about this yesterday. But I'm betting. When they make that one where they put X and Y together. Like Crystal and stuff like that. They're going to call it it's gonna Z. Be Z. You're going to call it Z. Yeah, X, Y, Z. Examine your zipper. But you know, I want to know the what are they gonna call it after this? Like they made colors 
And then they made stone thingies. Then they, oh wait, they stuck with the stone thingies. Yeah, go back. Call it numbers. Pokemon 1. Pokemon 2. After you're done with that. I came up with that yesterday. Well, they might go Greek. The Greek stuff. I came up with that yesterday. After all of that. I came, up, I came up with the. Yeah, the whole. I came up with the next nine games. Pokemon 1 will be caught. Well, only have one Pokemon in the entire game. That's also what code I said yesterday. But after they're done all with. Right. Number 9. Number nine is gonna have nine Pokemon, and you cannot evolve them at all. You can have pre-evolution, but they cannot evolve any further. So meaning, your your starter is is going to be test, one of the original test, one, two, test, test. but it's not gonna work. Yeah, because is this fine? Uh, you'll have yeah. Pichu and Pikachu, it's no good. Raichu, and in this, Pichu won't be able to evolve into Pikachu, so you're going to find two separate Pokemon there. You're going to find Cubone, so you're going to find that one bird. Which one? There's like 50 of them. That separate thing that has, the one that has like the grass in his mouth. I don't know like which one that the... green onion in his mouth or something? Green Pork? Oh, Maybe. okay, yeah, the one that Dusty just said, Farfetch. I can't come up with any other Pokemon. You know what Those. I'm looking forward to? Pokemon Semicolon. Yeah. Pokemon Semicolon, that's next game. I'm, a, I'm looking forward to a collab of Pokemon and Cod. <laughs> Since you said that now, I just want to see it. Is it, would it really work? Just like, pika pika, and then it's like a first person view and you like shoot lightning everywhere and crap like that. What the heck, dude? Wait, wait, whoa. Alex, three hours. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck, whoa. What? Is that two and a half what? win? No, that's anger management. Ah. Oh. It's kind of ironic he's on a show about trying to get people to match their anger after, you know, what happened. Twice. Alright. So, we good? Uh, almost. I'm gonna tell you guys a story yeah, about yeah, sure. Kodai. And one more thing, dude. That kiss poster. No, no, wait, what in the What the heck? Where'd you get that? What'd you do? Alex gave it to me. How did he get it? Alex gave it to me. How did he get it? Because he's friends with the boss of that Lawson. Oh, okay. I thought he just went over there and, like, stole it or something. I was like, what the crap? Wait, show it again? It's like... <clears throat> it's just weird. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Alright. Well, before we go, though, let's talk, talk about Kodai real quick and his figure. Pretty much, if you guys haven't watched it, there's a show called Bakato Test or something, 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 something. Just look up Bakato Test. Anyways, so, this guy just started, or this guy started collecting figures. He never watched the show. He bought a figure of a dude, or, of, yeah, of a dude in a bunny dress thinking it was a chick. Look, dude, the face for the chick. It had boobs. I will give you that, it did look like a chick. And then, and then I find out that it's like a gender bend series, okay? Uh, what? The... There's a chick that was in a dude suit. Oh. Uh, uh, and the dude was in that shirt that goes up to here. <laughs> it was like this, showing cleavage everywhere. That's not the first time that happened to Kodai. Let me tell you about Tales of Vespera. He said he'd do... Or, damn it. He said he'd do Yuri. However, I will admit when I first started playing that game... What? I thought Yuri was a chick, okay? Yeah, I will admit when I first started playing the game, I got confused. I was like, wait, is that a dude is that a chick? Because it kind of looked like one of the chicks from Tales of the Abyss. Or something. It was one of the one of the other Tales of games. 
Well, actually, yeah, I mean, yeah. Du I mean, Dusty's on our channel, so it's pretty much Dusty playing Dusty. Hey, <laughs> it's just, not Dusty. Quick play Dusty. It's just Dusty playing Dusty's games of Dusty. Come on, get in on this crap. Go ahead. Hey. And before we go, I'm I'm, your mission, bro. And before we go, I would hey, like to say bro. one thing. Please support this band right here. The band, it's got Vegas Rhythm Kings. I don't know if you can see it. Oh crap! Vegas Rhythm Kings. Hey, hey, hey! You don't have to pay for it. They give it to you for free. What band? Uh, Vegas Rhythm Kings. They're they're pretty much zombie metal. Yeah, you know. The 20, 20th century or 21st century came a long way of metal. I mean, well, at least in 2010 to now. Now we got freaking, well, what, what was that thing called? Cyber metal. We got space, space death metal. And now we got zombie metal. Oh my god. He's my father. Oh no, terrible start. Well. This video is just dragging on and on. Take care, guys. Take care. Oh, God. Nah, I'm kidding. Take care. Take care. Alright. Yo, yo, yo. Before we go, uh, go to any parting words.